means they're probably dragging somewhere. Definitely I'm dragging the yeah. hoses on the front of the vehicle. <coughs> okay, well, just say the wood and I'll uh, climb There's one. Yeah, yeah. No, I just want you to, you know, But Between those two mounds. There's hmm. a million things to look at, so you gotta come. Oh, yeah. No, definitely a million out. things to look at. And there's that go. hose I'm supposed to be looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got those pesky biologists who are like, look at this weird thing. You don't even know what it is, but look, look, find it. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is Atlantis caught up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Might come up a bit there if you... What, 1.5 meters no, or so? No, the Delta. Delta. Oh. I can't see the tether from here, but... Delta's at 30. Horrible Argus pilot. Yeah. Horrible Hercules pilot. No, you're killing it. Play nice, you two. <laughs> <laughs> what are the increments on the uh, meso sonar for Herc right now? 10 meters. <laughs> All right, so that's the mooring right there, like 20, 22, 20, 25. meters? Yeah. Yeah, you have it in the tri tech too. Oh, well, you did have it in the tri tech. Yeah. Uh, ship's still moving? Maybe? Nope, ship's not moving. Right. Thank you. Well, there's a cool C pen. There you go. Now it's in the tri tech, right there. Gotcha. This place definitely looks like the uh, the trash heap of the uh, the ocean here. Just, what do you mean by that? Well, it's just where all these, um, you know, these bottom dwellers are just like eating detritus and stuff. They just really like mud. <laughs> yeah. Hey, one person's mud is another person's gold. Yeah. Yeah. The kind of terms kind of dominate here, AJ? In these types of areas. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. Is there two moines here or just one? There's two moorings. Yeah, so that's the two targets you have on Atlantis sonar, I reckon? Yeah. One yeah, for sure. The second one would be off to the right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. One at 30, one at 50? Yeah. We'll yeah. survey the near one, then we'll go survey the far one, then we'll go release the far one. You see those two, Megan, in the Atlantis sonar? Yeah, I can see them. Okay. I keep seeing these weird white balls. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Are they not sponges? They're probably sponges. Yep. But they're very round. Yes. They are. Uh, but she's on mute. Yeah. I don't hear any background interference. All right, Danny, I'm going to reset your DVL if that's cool with you. I have no idea what that means, but okay. <laughs> All right. I'm Maybe just going to do it then. Wait. The only thing you don't want to be is in autos, auto XYs. While, well, the while good news is I'm DVL. not in any autos. I'm flying manual. So you see on the nav screen, Danny, all the little blue dots? Yeah. Those are all raw USBL hits. And the yellow ROV is the DVL position. The green. Yeah, your green, green gotcha. uh, snail trail. And so that DVL is your dead reckoning position, which drifts over time. So ev eventually, Megan will reset it to USBL when she feels like she's getting better USBL pings. Better yeah, better they pings. were very nice and concentrated, so it was a good time to do it. When we get close to this mooring, it'll probably get a little wonky. Here. I'm dragging. Plowing. Plowing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Tilt up yep. your camera a bit. So, mm -hmm. is Atlanta, okay. Atlanta's north, west. Yes. Call that, okay. Call that your happy heading west. 
Sure. After we survey this mooring, we're going to want to move to the next one, which is northwest of this one. Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, yeah, I think Atalanta is probably in an okay spot for us to do that. We just yeah. won't come around it. We'll stay north. We'll probably make a, a 10 meter step to get over there, but yeah. With my dust cloud. Okay, great. So, um, if we could get close to the anchor, we could have a good look at all the supporting infrastructure that we're going to have to cut to release. And then we'll slowly come up at zooming in at each uh, module. And then we're going to need the suction sampler at some point. What, what are we suctioning? We're going to suction some of the biofouling sampling, biofouling on the top of one of the modules. It'll be the third module from the bottom Okay. on this one. Megan, could you grab me a position for this? Sure. Did they uh, grab on while they were doing the suction sampling last night, or did they? I don't know. I was asleep for it. <laughs> we were free floating. Oh, yeah. Can we get a uh, zoom if the ROV is happy on that assembly? Your call there, Danny. Yeah. Wait you're happy. Good. Go ahead. So not, these two moorings are going to be identical. Eventually, these are the steel wires that we're going to need to cut to free it. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. So one thing I tend to do and every pilot tends to do when Thanks, video Megan. zooms in is back, back up. up. Yep. Yeah, I just did that. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's something you gotta watch that, the, yeah. Yeah. It's very hard not to. It's like instinct. You're like too close. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we can go on and ascend the mooring. I think the junction box is right here. So if we could stop and zoom on that as well. Let's uh, trade out, Jake. Okay. Well, that'll be on a suspended wire up in the water column. So. Roger. No, that's a good idea. It's not exactly a training uh, training wheels uh, <laughs> position. <laughs> Nicely done, Danny. I'm sitting there like, uh, we're just waiting for Dan to be like, uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, have someone a little more experience do this. Well, it's a lot safer with this two ROVs in the water because Atlanta's not going anywhere and it's, you know, got eyes on the mooring the whole time. Look at all those fun critters. But that was uh, interesting following, like, you know, with the happy heading and locking in position and just I'm like, okay, I know I can't wrap myself Tiny around this chain. thing, but it's super easy to. It can also uh, decrease the range on the Tritec there to yeah. you know, get a better picture of it. If you it was 10. Boy, this is a lot freer than the other one. Yeah, it is very furry. The other one was quite furry down low. But yeah, this this is this has been in a lot longer as well. Well, not a lot longer, but a couple oh, years well, longer. Oh well, that'll do it. Yeah. These are the older. Look at that mornings. enemy. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. It's far cool. up there. Can we get zoom yeah. on that when you're ready? Yeah. 
How long has this one been down, AJ? This one went down in, oh, that's a good question, 2019, I believe. I can do their video. I can confirm. And what are the, uh, what are the All sensors right. on it? Sensing? Down to um, the Those wavelength of the spheres. water. So uh, some of the modules emit light and other modules receive light. So these two moorings are directional to one another. That's why there's two structural members. Uh -huh. um, so that they're, uh, they're both facing the right way. And one oh, sensor I will emit light Thank you. and the other one will measure it. And that way um, they can determine the optical properties of the water. So this is all in preparation to build a neutrino telescope. We'll be looking, which we'll be looking to catch light that propagates through the water column. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's, they were studying the, the absorption wavelength in water. By the way, uh, this particular platform went in June of 2018. So oh, yeah, 2018. It was. Oh, it's a big one. Before yeah. I started at OSC. Been down here a while. Just slowly floating up. Yep, and I'm following you. This one will be fun to bring up. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we'll be asleep. Hopefully. Mm. Oh, yeah, you guys will, yeah. You're going to recover both of these mines? Uh, just one on this dive, and then, yeah, one on the next. Mm -hmm. Is there a risk to recovering both at the same time? You mean popping them both to the surface at the same time? Well, no, just in the same dive, I guess. Yeah, we have to recover the sub, and it's hard to track two moorings on the surface. Yeah. And then in the five hours it takes us to recover one to deck, who knows where that other one's going to go. Yeah. That's the risk. Okay. Just about 15 meters up the mooring. Excellent. How far are we going to chase it up? All the way. It's uh, about 125 meters. Oh, wow. Pull that information up because that's not in the dive plan. At least plan. it's not 500. <laughs> it is not 500, yeah. Correct. A lot shorter. So we'll lose DVL on the way up at some point, I yep. guess. Yeah. So they have to take us off DVL or probably around 75 meters or so, something. Yeah. Dirk had us zoom in at every instrument. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll be zooming in at each instrument. There are only, I think, four instruments on this one. Good thing you have a pilot camera. Right? Yeah, more instruments. <laughs> pilot cam and winch control. This would be very interesting to do from remote. Oh yeah, you got the winch control sorted, did you? Yep. That's good. Oh, here's my headset. I took it with me. Crazy. Just uh, took it apart and put it back together and didn't change anything and it worked. Turned it off and on again? Yep, exactly. Nice. 50% 50, 50 of problems in IT can be solved that way. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? It, it just likes attention. That's really all it is. <laughs> yeah. You know, it just sits there underneath the table and it's sad and just has to get some love. Gets kicked every once in a while. <laughs> 25 meters. I like how it sort of tapers in and out of these like really fluffy spots. Yeah. Like cattails. Ooh, look at that benthic tinafore. Jake, uh, if you're streamers. Cool. Yeah. If you're comfortable, 
Well, actually, can we get zoom on that? Sure. Um, but if, we, if we're not seeing anything interesting in this it, biologically or modulally, you can travel a little faster if you're comfortable. Okay. Benthic tenophore is pretty darn interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Right, we can zoom in on that. Looks right, like a Jalfiella. Huh. I don't think I've seen little... that before. Yeah, they're really neat. So it has these two really long feeding tentacles. It's trying to catch some dinner or breakfast or whatever you eat right now. This is a weird looking thing. Isn't it fun? Yeah, this is like really veiny looking. Yeah. yeah usually they're not so uh, artistic. Yeah, usually they're kind of boring gelatinous yeah. blobs. Or... Uh, well, I've seen some really pretty artistic ones. Really? Keep it under 30, yeah, that like, or 35 like had meters these also. Orange and yellow ruffles. So that's bouncing around. Mm. Yeah, I was trying to. It yeah, that's right. Didn't realize you were going to stop. Yeah, if you're winching on the while he's zoomed in, it will. No, I stopped before. He stopped, it was just a little, a little high. Just a tiny bit. All right, come on. Continue up. This. So, yep. can they retract the tentacles, Megan, or do they? Oh, yeah, they can retract them in. Ooh, what's that guy? Uh, we've got a lot of hydrozoans, the tubularity type of single polyp hydrozoan. All right, coming up. They look like little flowers. Mm. Venus flytrap anemone. That one's a big one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Call it out if you want to stop and see it. <laughs> no, you can keep going. All right. Can't stop at every. Yeah, every cool critter. <laughs> Megan could take like three days to come Probably want to zoom in on that. Yeah, oh, the what? instrument. <laughs> Oh, that's just a yep. jelly that got caught on the wire. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Thought it was a cucumber. <laughs> I'm going to try to take still photos of it as well, so I might ask to get you to get a little closer further okay. to get the still camera set up. So I think if we need to get a little closer for the still camera. Oh, that wow. looks pretty biofouled. Yeah. How's that for still camera? That's perfect for still camera. Thank you. It's also, is there a way to make the still camera fully automatic or do I have to uh, adjust these properties myself? There, yeah. You can do fully automatic, but it, you can't adjust, like it won't. Um, it won't auto focus. So auto focus or IRS. Do the same thing. Yeah, let's do the same thing over and over again. Oh. So it isn't. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Um, I'm happy with that. I think we can keep going. Okay. So that module should be at 30 meters. The next module should be at 50 meters. Roger that. Coming up. So this is straw yellow. That would be SDOM number four that we just passed. And we're coming up to POCAM number three. POCAM number three. Yeah, I believe SDOMs are the sensing modules and POCAMs are the um, calibration modules that send out, that emit the light. They'll be slightly smaller. They'll have little uh, flashers in them. Are we supposed to be doing suction samples on these? We're going to do a suction sample on SDOM 5. Oh, okay. I feel like we're going to get a lot more on these ones than the one from earlier today. Yeah. These are very furry. Yeah. Only, well, I guess 2020, 2018, so only two years older, but I guess that's almost twice, twice the deployment period. Almost. It was interesting. The fouling was only on the upper part of this mm -hmm. instrument, not the lower part. Yeah, it's very clear that it's this detritus that's falling from above. Coming up on 50 meters. Yeah, it looks like the cables are wandering out to a module there. Nope, wandering back. Wandering back. There. There it is. All right, I'll stop. Uh, a little baby module. Say that one doesn't look as furry. 
Yeah, they'll also get less furry as we move up in the water column, it seems. Um, so yeah, Jake, if, if we could get that in still. Coming up. Okay. How's that for still as an inspection? Yeah, that looks good. Could we possibly just get some zoom on the module itself in the main yeah. cam as well? One second, let me frame it up. Zoom there. Looks like it has a golf ball inside. Yeah, yeah it does. The, the golf ball, that's the flasher. <laughs> so that's the, I don't know if that's meant to like diffuse the light or something like that. Okay, that's okay. excellent. Yeah, that's really good luck. Thank you. We can um, continue upwards. Continue upwards and onwards. So 70 meters, so another 20 meters to SDOM 5, which we will right. be suction sampling. Coming back up. What is that? Kind of wiggly guy. Oh, wiggly snots. Oh, so excited for those on deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. They're like, yes, it smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Less fouling. good to know if the future project is planned on being uh, 100 kilometers up. The heavy biofouling really does reduce fairly quickly. Like we're only yeah, that's interesting. 63 meters off the bottom, 64 meters, and we're seeing a significant reduction in biofouling, at least on the cables. Even the mo even that module looked a lot better than the one before it. So. All right, coming up on 70 meters. The scientists will have to figure out whether it's worth it to possibly constrain the view in order to um, put in some sort of Ooh, electro mechanical squeegee, squeegee or something. I'll Do stop in the winch. Yeah. So we're going to want to suction sample the top of this. Oh, okay. Um, we can get close. We can get close into our survey first, and then come back and get the suction sampler out. All right. Um, yeah, let's do that. Frame it up in the still camera. Oh, look, another stringy, cool looking thing. The benthic tenophore. That thing. Yeah, that <laughs> thing. And so this is SDOM 5 for all those swashing. That's wonderful for the still cam. Okay. And then we can get some main camera zoom on the platform whenever you're okay with that. Ready for zoom. Sorry. That one looks furry too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Still <laughs> some obstruction for their optical sensors to worry yeah. about. Is that a plastic housing or a plastic casing over it or something? It looks kind of buckled. Um, it looks like that's just... I think it's just rubber. just wrapped it in rubber. Oh, okay. Um, so it the housing cut itself, in. I think, is... Okay, it looks, it looks uh, like stainless or titanium. Yeah, I think it's stainless. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Can we get the okay. suction sampler yeah. out? Yeah, yeah. Let's do this here. So...
can we see the suction bottles in, in, bo in bubble? Uh, so I think he said rack back and we'll be able to see it. Okay. Rack back and look up is what he said. Rack back and look down at the porch. Well, I was saying, how do we know when the bottles switch? Oh. He was panning up with the main camera and then I was irising up and you can see it. So you rack all the way back, pan all the way up. Get this guy in my hand, and then I'll let you look at the bottle. Okay. We didn't. I uh, need to punch out though. Yep, punching out. Oh, I forgot porch ones. They're titanium housings, but science is requesting a closer view of the lower hemisphere of one of the modules. Okay, okay. sure. After the suction sample, we can go have a look. They are titanium housings, but um, they used rubber to isolate the stainless steel um, hose clamps from it. Got going on there? I think Dan zip tied. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now you should be able to get out there. Okay, so now the idea is we look up and we can see it. That's the plan. So Trevor was doing. Yeah, uh, get really? a uh, bubble where you can actually. Uh, and we, we really want to be sampling kind of off the glass, I think. Okay. He was I just want to very lightly brazing it. That's what we saw today on the other instruments, but it's up to you guys. Okay. The, gla the glass or the whole module? The plastic tip of the... Ah, so we can see. Cool. Okay. So right now we are in... Uh, just on the glass flush. part. Yeah, just the glass part. Yep, yep. That looks like flush. The bottom part or the top part? Or we're... Uh, the, the top glass okay. is what we're going after. Okay. So now we're suctioning. Uh, hold on, I gotta swap bottles. One, one bottle. We're on flush. If you notice, we're on the red stripe. Yep. Yeah, I can do it. You, you focus on flying. Is that too far? Yeah, try that. That looks right, huh? Yeah. Okay, you can look down with the... Looking down. <coughs> Did they, they... They didn't grab onto the cable when they... No, just fly up. They just flew up. Very gentle. Did they even move the manipulator arm, or did they just fly the vehicle? I'm trying to think what's best. Both. Both. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to just fly and not move the manipulator arm, because then you got two variables moving. Yeah. It was pretty so quick. Am I a good spot for you for the manipulator? Uh, um, manip maybe better to come closer to the vehicle. Yeah, I just didn't want to like. Yeah. Okay, let me know when you want suction. You can bring suction on. Hundred, uh, how much? Fifty, hundred. Come up. Yeah, um, I would just do a hundred. Percent it is. That way we don't have to get as close to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, can you bring bubble? You, you can look in uh, pilot camera. Yeah. I may. I do need to come forward. You're rubbing on the on the thing. Okay. Just uh, I would rotate your wrist so that it's a little bit. Yeah. So we can just see the the tip. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm frozen. Alright, you wanna... Are you happy with bubble or you want me to move I'm bubble? I'm happy. So Trevor was moving around the top. Yeah. You want to move the manipulator arm a little bit? Just small little movements. The top dome is what we're going for, right? Yeah, top dome. Roger. Top dome fuzz. Do you want me to zoom in a bit so you... Yeah, better. maybe a little bit. Yep. That's good there. Yeah, like that. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> if you try and rotate your... Yeah, yeah, yeah so we can see that tip. Yeah. yeah. So you can see... Yep. Yeah, that looks great. Keep keep that up. You definitely need a little closer on that way. Yeah. Oh, a plastic tip. Is this glass or? It's glass, yeah. Okay. Yep, just slow little movements. So I'm trying, you're bouncing everywhere too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just try to minimize. That's up to you guys, but this is about as, the, this was the extent of what they did. Okay. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's good, we'll just go maybe one more, a little bump. Yeah. Good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's all the section sampling we'll be doing on this mooring. So okay. we can put that away. Okay. Did you see which bottle that was? That was the red bottle. Is that what you said? Five. No, I rotated on one bottle. Let's look up quick. I don't know which of those bottles it actually goes into. Does it not go into the first one? It goes into the one on that the is right. I thought. Interact back. No, it's not racking back here. Yeah. Or is it rack forward? No. Nope. Are you zoomed? Oh yeah, oh, zoom wide. Sorry. <laughs> that would do it. One, right? Bottle one. Bottle yeah, one. Bottle one. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, can we get? Once you're all happy, if we could get a visual of the underside of the module. Yep. Actually, I'll keep my camera view looking up. Give you a porch view back. Uh, we can porch in. I'll porch in for you. Sure thing. We'll have to get that on main cam because the angle of the uh, still cam does not hey, make that easy. Yeah, no. You got part of the handover? You got part of the handover from Dan? Okay. So you want to zoom here? Yeah, zoom on main you cam. You want to zoom here on main cam? See how If we could get more, that would be nice. Can, it's just hard with yeah, the light to see. Bring that in a little bit more, I guess. Did they want to read the label? No, we're just trying to look at the biofouling on the glass hemisphere that's downward facing. Copy that. Got it? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm going to do a hand over here. Yep. Copy.
morning, folks. Good morning. Morning, AJ. Morning, fellas. Morning, Sean. Morning, morning all. Morning. How are we all morning. doing? We're doing great. How you doing? Okay, I'll tell yeah. you in about 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> get, get some coffee in you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we just had a look, see, in a suction sample at this module. This is the third module from the bottom. Okay. Uh, this mooring is... 145 meters tall. Yep. And we're about half that right now. Okay. Uh, there's one more module up. So when you're ready, uh, happy to bring it up to a de uh, an altitude of 110 meters where yep. we'll find the last module. We'll do a little zoom and still camera work on that. Then we'll continue upwards, look at the buoy and the hardware, and then we can come on down and move over to the next mooring, which is to the northwest of us. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good. Sounds All like right. a lot of information for 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if the camera is panned up or if it's, it's just I think the lighting. It's slightly uh, it looks like it's slightly might be up. Slightly, slightly up. up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were just looking at the underside the of the balls. module, so. Yeah. Anytime you see those two, it's probably up. Okay. And let me know when you're starting to come up, Dave. Yeah. Well, I'm on the way, mate. Roger. Take me a minute just to yeah, no, get I, me eye back in. I don't think we're in a huge rush to do anything. Hey, AJ? Well, not a huge rush. Um, no, just a rush? Normal rush? Normal rush, yeah. we There is like a time restriction where if we are too fast, we'll have to wait to pop the moorings at daylight. But I don't think we'll run into that. Oh, okay. At at regular speed. You don't have to go warp speed. We can go regular speed. <laughs> but regular what speed. about ludicrous speed? <laughs> They've gone plaid. <laughs> what range is that sonar on, mate? Mm, you got 10 meters. What do you want? Oh, that's fine. Okay. There's a fish down below. Yeah, yeah. it's following us. <laughs> That's the rat tail. Yeah. It's using our light. It's like, oh, now I can see all these things that I could never see before. Yeah. Amazing. Wouldn't life be nicer <laughs> in the light? <laughs> Poor fish. Uh, he chose it. Yeah, Did well, he? these are Did like he? the apex yeah. predators down here. You know, the, these are the big ants. Big guys. These? No, the the rat tail fish. The RV doesn't eat anything. Oh, it you, does. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just sucked up some. Not on purpose. <laughs> or sometimes on purpose. Yeah. What's that little shrimp thing? It looks like a cheetah nap. Cheetah nap? Yeah. Yeah. A tuna nap? What is it? <laughs> cheetah nap. <laughs> I cannot understand that. Arrow worm. Okay. I like yeah. that better. It's yeah. called an arrow worm. Common names, please. It's not really a worm. But it it is a water column animal. Fooled me. They're really weird looking. You should Google it. I, w I would if I could understand how to spell it. <laughs> you want to know how? Tuda nap. C-H. Keto nap. And like an A E in there yeah, somewhere. A -E. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a G H T. Well, yeah, that weird I'm never jelly. getting that one. <laughs> Is that a helmet jelly? Looks like it. Seems like an app name for that one. So gelatinous. So do both of these guys got to be cut, or is one of them on a pole? Both of them will have to be cut. 
eventually any... test out that sweet new cutter. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all shiny, pretty excited for that. Shiny cutter. These guys. Oh, man, that is not at all what I would have thought you were saying. <laughs> K-Tog Natha. No, it's a silent G. Well, then why'd they put it in there? Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Just for flair. They yeah. are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like a scientist flex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are pretty neat. And they're called what, wor what worms? Arrow worms. Arrow worms. They're like, I don't know, they kind of attack from above, from what I understand. Oh, so they fall like an arrow, like an arrowhead. Neato. Like a drop bear. Have we lost altimeter? Yeah, we have. Pretty high yep. up. Yeah, the next module is at 110 off bottom, so bottom here was what, 22, 26, bottom? 48? 20, yeah, 26, 58. And we're okay, at so we're about 20, 20 meters away. 25, 58, 55. Yeah, a little less. There, there we, we go. go. There it is. Pocam 2. So what we've been doing is getting the ROV to position a little closer so I can take some still cam photos. Yep. And then we'll get some zoom with the main cam. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's pretty great for the still cam. Some pretty sexy flying there, dude. So <laughs> <laughs> now we can get zoom with the main cam whenever you're happy. Yep. Who we got tonight? Pete. Pete. Hey, Pete. Champion zoomer. Yo. Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. Doesn't seem that biofouled. I mean, the glass is still pretty cloudy. But no. yeah, it doesn't have a lot of a lot of fuzz, stringy bits hanging off of it. No, definitely some some cloudiness on it. If possible, could we get a little look at the underside as well? Yep. AJ wants to have a look at the undercarriage. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> okay, Pete. Do you want to read the label? Nope. That's what I asked. No, we they know the label. We want to see the biofouling on the bottom side. That's there a biofoul. Yeah, that does have some biofouling okay. on it. Got a little anemone and a leech. That's a yeah, a few of those leeches came off of the straw bee mooring that we recovered to deck yesterday. Happy? Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. All right. A lot of these little, um, I don't know what those are, those little... Dingleberries. <laughs> Dingleberries. <laughs> 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 yep. We let the scientists in. <laughs> Don't know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So above us, we've only got the mooring ball, or sorry, the buoy. But we can go have a look at that. Yep. On the way. We'll take a look at the shackles. Make sure it's safe to recover the deck. So. At the end of this, are we popping both of these sub C and then coming up, AJ? No, we're gonna we're gonna go survey the other one and then we're gonna pop the other one. And not pop this one? We're not gonna pop this one. We're gonna come back down to pop this one. Oh really? We're gonna do a whole nother dive to pop it. Yeah. Interesting. Boring. 
Yeah, it's going to be real blue water. <laughs> blue water mission. Just because you don't want them to get tangled? Because we don't want to get tangled. We don't want one to drift away on us. In these super Super rough, rough conditions, yeah. Roger. No, better safe. All right. There's our spreader bar. Back away a little bit. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty big ball, so no big deal. Josh, I heard you went TikTok viral. <laughs> Doing what? What? This is all. This is what I hear. I haven't seen it, but apparently I haven't heard this. For our apparently social media, you went TikTok viral with a. There's a crab video. Oh, oh, the crab. What was it? What did you do to the crab? What did you do to me? I what, think. What did you do to the crab, Josh? <laughs> you were chasing it off, maybe the uh, tool <laughs> basket, but I think it was the commentary. That's what people pay. That's why you get paid the big bucks, Josh. <laughs> it's your winning personality. <laughs> that was our shift, I think. That was night before last or something. Yeah, we were some of the tool basket. And the I can't remember what you said, though. I haven't seen the video. I don't have TikTok. Yeah, I don't either. It was that crab that was bugging you. It wouldn't let go. Yeah, sometimes crabs have a hard time letting go. <laughs> Quite a long length. I do have the distance. Yeah, it's about 35 meters from the spreader plate we just saw up to the bottom of the buoy. Yeah. We have a hypothetical question for you, AJ. Uh -oh. If you were to never retrieve your instruments, they would just stay in place. I mean, I'm going to assume at some point they wouldn't be. Well, it's possible that they wouldn't be functional, but. Yeah, it depends. I think it depends on what it is. These moorings, I think the steel wire would corrode at, at some point. Mm -hmm. The syntactic foam probably lasts a lot longer, so they would eventually float away, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, most of our other stuff, I think, would just stay. But it would take many, many moons, I think, for this stuff to completely corrode away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the currents at the bottom are, are fairly benign for the structures, so they're not really going anywhere. Might Cur grow a lot of things. Yeah, it'll grow a lot of things. I'm not sure if that it does much to the structure. It obviously affects mm -hmm. the instrumentation and the drift, the sensors. Um, but the structures themselves, it's just corrosion that you have to contend with. And so... Uh, Eventually, you'll use up all your galvanization, your zinc coating. It's like a little detritus umbrella. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, eventually everything turns to dust. Especially if you're at bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're living in a hydrothermal vent, your life is short. That looks okay. Probably. Big orange ball. Yeah, not a lot there, is there? Lift point looks good. I guess that's important. Yeah, lift point looks good. Wonder some who did that rope splice. That's nice. Some poly steel. <laughs> yeah, no tape. <laughs> bah. No tape for style. Uh, we've got the the paralink. Probably if we could get to it, would be a nicer hook for sure. Do, do, do. Yeah, and then the swivel looks great. All right, if we could come down the mooring, that would be go excellent. Ahead and come down the mooring, that'd be great. <laughs> I 
how, how would you like me to say it? I don't know. No, I'm I'm not not ripping you at all. I just wanted to. What's the, the What's the movie? Office Space. Yeah, so good. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. All right. Come on, Don. I think you should sit back there with suspenders and that mug and <laughs> act like that guy. I wish I have such a I have such a outfit conundrum on the ship because conundrum <laughs> yeah what, what do you what? I spend a lot of time in the dive shack and I don't want to wear my my nasty coveralls and no. then I step out for a minute and they put me on winch duty and now all my clothes are greasy <laughs> that's what I wear in the van greasiest clothes I own you don't even wear shoes yeah. in the van. Yeah. <laughs> Just greasy clothes and no <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Same thing I wear at home. Trevor. Sometimes clothes. Trevor's living in the van. <laughs> yeah, Dave doesn't even have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras only get the upper half. Well, yeah. I can't even see the bottom of his chair. It's called... What is that, like, COVID business sheet? Yeah. COVID business Business sheet. top, party on the bottom. Nice. What kind of parties are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> Relaxing ones. <laughs> yeah, yes? Uh, oh, I can't see the commentary, Pete. I wish I could, but I... I think they have it captioned. I'll come over there in a sec, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I just can't read it. What? You don't have bionic vision? Not no, yet. I can't read. Welcome to the conversation, Steph. Thanks. Good yeah, morning, that, Steph. I think there is. Yeah, a little you literally hump. tilted your laptop and then it started. Okay, well, I'm charged <laughs> enough now. No, Steph. <laughs> The only thing consistent about my winch speed is its inconsistency. We can count on you. I'm so much better at the winch when I'm outside. And it's did you, sunny. Did you like that? In the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. You set up a beach chair or something? Uh, I just splayed out on the tub. Oh, yeah. If we had filled it with water, I would have been in there in swim shorts with the headset on. <laughs> and, and what, just a long stick? You wouldn't even have to get out? <laughs> no. That would have been something. Yeah, we have that poking stick. You could have borrowed that. Yeah, that's right. That poking stick. Re Rennie's stick. Or I guess he calls it a pointing yeah, stick. Yeah, Rennie would be stick super mad if I took that out of here. <laughs> or used it at all. Got bottom in altimeter. Yep. Did you guys see the shark yesterday? Yes. Yes. We little, had a full here. conversation about this. Uh, and Steph and Dirk and Sean were all looking up what it potentially could have been. And what did Dirk land on? Oh, the, the trope the, shark. Yeah, the soup fin shark. When, yeah. w when was this? When was the shark? We saw the first one. Around lunchtime, I think. Mm. And then there was a bunch more while I was sleeping. 4 p.m.? Maybe? Yeah, 4 or 30. I saw the little fin of what could have been a shark mm -hmm. later in the day, but... How did you... Did people see the body of it? No. Some... Well, Dirk said he did. Well... Oh, yeah. Dirk yeah. Dirk, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... We could see the fin and, like... 
relative size, I think. Yeah. yeah. It was like three feet long. According to Dirk, the jump sh <laughs> the shark jumped out of the water, told him what type it was. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him a high five. Gave him a high five. <laughs> and then swam away. Swam away. And never came back, so yeah. story could not be confirmed. Apparently it was Megalodon. We're sure it's not an Atlantic <laughs> spiny dogfish. And he was a better shark wrestler than Jason. Uh, well, those are inshore species. <laughs> they're also in the Atlantic. Where is he when you need them? Spiny uh, dogfish? They're here. Atlantic shark spiny dogfish? Oh. Uh, we got Pacific spiny dogfish. I was oh. going to say, there was did, did a whole conversation where hmm? we ruled out dogfish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Ruled Megalodon? it out based on the yeah. high five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the subs. It's amazing. <laughs> That's what I imagine you're, you're like at work when you're in submersibles. It's going, <laughs> going 50 knots underwater. Yeah. <laughs> no. Whoa, where are you? What is that website? This is Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's a really nice website. Yeah, Ambari is top notch. It's got my favorite fish here, the blob sculpin. Oh, yeah. We got to get a hold of their automatic uh, identifier. Identification software yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, FathomNet? FathomNet. That's the one. Um, it does all right it's okay. for some things. They're still working on it. They're, they're still working on it. It's really hard for things that are a little bit transparent. Turns out a lot of things are transparent. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> yeah. Most of the soup you see in here. Hey, have you ever seen any monkey face prickleback? Whoa. That's probably my favorite fish name. Yeah. It's oh, do you want to know my favorite fish name? Let's hear it. The fa uh, bony eared ass fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> Acanthonus Whoa. armatus. Bony-eared ass fish. Yep. Okay. So what part got the ass? The ears or the entire fish? Um, you'd have to ask the person who named it. There, there's some speculation there. Uh, but it does have the smallest brain to body size ratio of any chordate. Is Josh a chordate? No. Was, he sure I was, is. I was this close to just making it, making it. Except you know, insert Trevor's but name. I'm, but, I'm, but my brain is so much smaller, so I could make it in time. Mine That's is pretty on the nose, by the way. <laughs> my favorite so. fish name is the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apoa. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh, yeah, nice. the state fish of the, Hawaii. The trigger uh, fish. About, uh, look, trigger up, fish. Uh, look up barrel-eyed spook fish, AJ. That's a cool fish. Yeah, that is a cool fish. What about okay. the boops boops? What's the plan down oh, here, guys? Like We're going to move boops. over to the next mooring. We're going to talk about fish. All right. Which is to the northwest, so we'll need a ship move now. Yeah, we'll, we'll need to jump a little bit. It's 40 meters distance between um, them. We can see it in the Atalanta. Okay. Uh, let's go to 30 what? meters. No? no? Yeah, 30, Whoa. 30 meter range. Put it at 50 if you want. 50 it is. That is a fish. It should be on your right. Way on your right. I don't know if we'll see it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's oh, are you looking at barrel eyes? Yeah. They're interesting. Yeah, they're very weird. Wow. They look like coelacanths. Uh, Those are also uh, interesting. I like that they're yep. translucent. So, yeah. the best would be if... Huh. If Atalanta is like like the exact same orientation. That thing, though, to collapses like when you oh, okay. get no, so higher like So you rarely ever here? see it like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because they are only like at I think up. it's going to be offset by about 10 meters. Oh, so it's going to be over here. We have it in sonar. I can kind of tell you. Yeah. Let me just put it on the head, on the nose. I'll give you a bearing. Okay. And a range. Yeah. And then you can. The bearing should be 311. Roger. And it uh, certainly looks like it's going to be. Nope, it's going to be a bit less than that. Yes, that's correct. 300. All right. 300? 300 at a, at a range of 40 meters, 4 zero. All right, so I'll make a 
Move of 40 but meters. We're at 300. This side of it anyway. Yeah. Perfect. I'll Bridge start nap. creeping that way. There's your creeper. Now you get to enjoy all the cucumbers. <laughs> oh, were you all here for the dancing cucumber? Mm. I don't think yeah, not all of us. I still remember the yeah. dancing. Yeah. There was one swimming. The fleet that, of does them. that fish have something on top of it? A leech, maybe? Mm. Could be a copepod. So sometimes these. Parasitic copepods have really long structures, mm. the reproductive structures. Moving it. Yeah, it's like a person riding a horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's a copepod. Yeah. Those long things are reproductive. Huh. It's like perfectly centered on the back of that fish too. Exactly. That's me all the way down. That's a fish with flair. <laughs> all the way back. So which mooring are we popping, number one or number two? This one we're going to. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's correct. 20-ish meters there. All right. <laughs> They're distinguished by yellow and blue. This is the blue. That was the yellow. What was yellow about the last one? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I noticed yellow. any color didn't situation. didn't really see any yellow on it. Is it the um, the tape thing on the sunkissed part? Dead end. Could be. Because I if mean, that's the case, that I, tape I think was blue, wasn't it? I think that tape is always blue. Okay. For for these syntactic foam buoys that come from deep water buoyancy, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if they use different tape. It, it just all looks just schmutz all colored right, now. It's all starting to bunch. Roger. I'm just hanging wet here, five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Let's find something fun to look at. Adventuring. Is there something? Oh, oh no, never mind. It's on the camera. <laughs> well, let's look at that round wall, white ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 To the Whoa. left, yeah. To the left, to the left. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. There it is. Curious. It's so you can play golf. <laughs> Looks like it fell out of one of the poke hams. Oh, <laughs> it <yeah>. does. <laughs> that fish is getting right up on it. Go ahead, Pete. I like that the fish swims backwards. <laughs> it's pretty unassuming. Oh, it's, it's like a like marshmallow a plant. Thing. It's a little demo sponge. Oh, looks like a marshmallow on a stick. <laughs> I love the little pointy snout that that fish has. It's yeah. very cute. That's right, you can come full wide, mate. Ta. The rat tails, their their mouths are really funny. Mm -hmm. They got like these like pouty lips. <laughs> Just like Dave. Yeah. 
How tall is this mooring, AJ? Same height? Yeah, this is exactly almost copy, an identical mooring, except in certain instances it's got S-DOMs instead of POCAMs. But uh, to you guys, it'll look identical. Oh, I think on the diagram it says something about the string is a different color. So one has blue string and the other has yellow string. Oh, we probably couldn't see it because it was covered in schmutz. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take this turn out. Uh, I got point eight in the tether wrap. You just tr you just turned to port, port. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Roger. Yep. Because I got point three in you as well. So yeah. You only, got, you only got half. Can feel it. Pulling. Yeah. She's coming. That's a good document. That's more detailed than what's in the dive plan. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I should have looked at this. Appendix. I hit auto depth there too, Dave. Mm hmm? Auto depth as well, and then you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, it's fine. I got my eye on it. it Roger. I don't like it. It just kicks the bottom up. Ah, I gotcha. You're more professional than I am. Sorry. No, it's good. I'll just hire you instead of me next time. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh. It's alright, I got another six year waiting period before I'm allowed back on probably at this point. Don't know, man. Viral TikTok video. You oh, might go back to Viral yeah. TikTok video. All right, Pete. Atlanta's still making its move? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I got it on my phone. I haven't done it on my laptop yet. Can you hear it? Oh. Oh, someone mentioned that the bony-eared ass fish has a special exhibit at the Royal BC Museum in Victoria. No way. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, now I really want to see that. <laughs> well, well, are, we are you guys spending a day? Ship? It's right downtown. Is right it close to the pub? Right next to Parliament. <laughs> Very All close kinds. to the pub. Close to some excellent pubs.
Okay, I think we should be good. Uh, well, you're good. I'm leaving for so show business. Oh yeah. What was the video? How many of? views? Three. Three. <laughs> no way. You being one of them. I don't know. I didn't look at the view count, but <laughs> me being one of them now. Yeah, and your mom. <laughs> no, she won't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it of? Oh, it was just me doing a connector uh, with a crab right in the background, like right there. The commentary <laughs> wasn't very good, even. We were being serious for most of it. <laughs> Doesn't sound likely. So, Dave, we just want to get a look at the hardware around the anchor. Yep. And then we'll get a zoom in on the junction box next, and then we'll start ascending and getting the instruments. Okay, my yeah, Megan, if you could pull up some coordinates here. Sure so I thing. Can get a confirmed position, that'd be good. If I can find my mouse, where'd it go? Thank you. No problem. All right, Pete, you want to zoom in a bit on that, Mitt? Oh, is that what makes it blue? I see a blue thing. Yeah, there is a, a blue, blue lanyard oh. thing. Strap. That's a lifting strap. Yeah. So on our way back down, we'll have to work that connector out before we cut the line. Those look very twisted. Where are you looking up, Mitt? Um, Telestrate? Yeah, just these here. Are okay, they twisted yeah. or is that an illusion? It doesn't. It looks so right to me. Looks good to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got zoom if you want to see it a little closer. Well, it's just the angle we're at. It's hard to see how they see how there's two wires and then oh, there's okay. two wires, but it's sort of. Right. Come wide, Pete. No, they're, it was just an illusion. They're not twisted. They just come together. Yeah, they're good. They just come together yeah. down at the shackle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, zoom in there, Mitt. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good view. Happy. Yeah. You guys are going to get to cut those cables. Sweet. All right, when you're in a happy heading, we can come up and look at the junction box, which is just right above you. Yeah. Zoom in just a touch, Pete. That's it. Thanks, mate. There's a blue stripe on the junction box. Ah, oh, another blue feature, nice. <laughs> it's an accent. There's also yeah. a yellow piece of tape. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> that could just be a smudged up device ID. It looks like somebody sharpied on it. Look, a really crude in device ID you need label. To see here, AJ? No, nothing, nothing really. Just all right, coming up. Yeah. So we're going all the way to the top now, yeah? Yeah, we're going to stop at each module. Yep. Uh, and do our our stills. On this middle two modules, we'll do suction sampling. Top and bottom of the module. Understood. First module is at a height of 30 meters above bottom. All right. What's our sonar range on, mate? Okay. Mm 
helicopter start picking up. Do my one job. Is that what you're saying? Very furry. Mm -hmm. It's another Tina four there. Yep. Hidden. Yep. Whoa, man. slow down. My bad. It's okay. It's a really hard job, Dave. Mm hmm? It's a really hard job. <laughs> yeah. Coming up on the winch? Yeah, the right speed is really tough. Mm hmm. -hmm. It's not the sort of thing you learn in school. No. <laughs> no, you can't teach it, really. It's that no. difficult. I know a guy that actually lost three ROVs while he was on the winch. Really? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, wow. At the same time? I know. Three different, <laughs> Are they all three different occasions. Oh. Same yeah. thing, just rip the tether, clean out. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Maybe don't put him on the winch. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There's a reason he was a trainee for four years. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Probably runs an ROV company or something. <laughs> <not>. <laughs> That's usually how it works, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> There it is, our thing. Mm -hmm. Looks a little lopsided. Mm. Wonder Looks how those very cable. furry for the sampling. Yeah, so we're not going to sample this one. Oh. Next one. We'll get a really nice zoom on this one. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll do still camera first. Yep. And just let some of those sediments just drop away. Yep, sounds great. What are we doing first? So, sorry, did you say suction? No, not no. on this one. Roger. Just going to come in and get him some stills. Roger. You're off the hook for now, Josh. But I'm on the suction for later. Yeah. <laughs> just, you just run the wedge, all right, winch man? <laughs> hey, I'm, that's my, that's me. The perfect. Perfect. He's so happy. Winchy. Got enough there, AJ? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. All right. Okay, Pete, go. Well, if you go in, I'll just come down it and get the bottom as well. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. This one needs a haircut. That is furry. Mm -hmm. Three blue. What are the other options? A little bit on the bottom, too. Yellow? Yeah, there was five yellow. You just, you just pick up random numbers and colors. It's like, it's like bingo. Nice. Okay, Pete. All right. Ready to go up? Yep. Happy. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet.
<sighs> Coming up. Ocha. I wonder if uh, it's more important that the bottom is clear it's for this me. telescope anyways. <laughs> There's those benthic tinafores. Yeah, those are cool. They're cheating though. They're not really benthic right now. No. Oh, uh, they're on a substrate. So that makes them benthic. Ish. That's just cheating. Whoa. That's cool. That's gross. That looks like it's disgusting. Uh, Is that the fly trap in Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking Stranger Things, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This way down, that's what that says. Looks like it says down six pi. <laughs> it <Yeah>. does. <laughs> yeah. Little belly there. Did we find out the mystery of the this way down or up sticker? And it was the other direction it was mounted the other direction yeah oh on the ctd oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah no i haven't asked about that <laughs> okay i should ask about that on the rc moorings well like the yeah the little ones they were the wrong way but the text was the right way Correct. so the text said like this way down but it had an up arrow <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. yeah that was the one where we found the disconnected yeah. Uh, wires or cables. That was RC Southeast. Yeah. Couldn't you just see Dirk <laughs> looking at the sticker in his hand and then just be like, meh, and slapping it on? <laughs> so is the CTD actually upside down or just the sticker? I don't well, that's know. That's the problem. We don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which way the CTD is supposed to be. Also, the sticker is very confusing. They came pre rigged, so. It would have been sure who oriented them. And I think we usually, I think I've always seen them with the connectors running down, which could be a mooring requirement so as to not bend the connectors out. Okay. Mm. You know? And I think the intake faces down usually, so that makes sense. Okay, so then I don't know what that sticker was all about. All right, cool. Still shots. Yeah, well, we're going to want to suction sample this one, so we'll do still first, then some zoom, and then some suction sampling. And yep. we'll We'll get suction on both the top and bottom this time. All the very furry ones were not sampling. Yeah, it is funny that they've selected ones that are sort of mid-water column mm -hmm. for their moorings, but the moorings that they're planning on deploying are much taller. So, um, so like the instrumentation ones start for 100 meters or so, or? No, uh, well, what's what's one kilometer divided by 20? A 20th of a 50 kilometer? 50. Meters. So this would be, yeah, this height would be the first instrument on the new moorings, which could be why they're interested. Mm. All right, I'm All happy right, with still. Go a bit more if you want. Yeah. Looks like something scraped across the top of it already. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Were these sampled before? Coming down? I don't no. think so. We asked them, we visited uh, last year, a couple years, we asked them if they wanted us to clean them, and I think the answer was no, because they wanted to mark the growth through time. If we could get all the way to the bottom glass. I mean, it could have been a fish. Zoom in some more, Pete. It's pretty... Uh, yeah, that one's got hairs on it yeah. facing yeah. down. All right. I'm happy with that. Can we suction sample the top and bottom glass hemisphere? Roger. Yeah. All right. We're going to back off for a minute, Mitt. Let you get set up. Sounds great. How have we been doing this, Mr. Dave? Do I hold it out and freeze and then you? Or hold it out. Yeah, I'll fly in and get you close and then just slurp around the top of it yourself. Lovely. Um, we we'll come down. And you have to do the sound effects. 
That's how you get TikTok viral. So who presses the actual <laughs> This is how I button. this is how you get me off comms. You do. <laughs> okay. So I need hydraulics. Trevor, are you back there? Yeah. Do you have the ability to press these back at that station? I don't think so, but I can try. I don't know, just teamwork. Anyways, you're ready for me you to You just have it? her sucking uh, yeah. ahead of time. Like, Roger. Yeah. Once you get close. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. As long as your uh, jars are aligned. Sure. Okay. Oh, still have beams. Nice. Beams. I like beams. Very fond of beams. Not beams or beams, but beams. Whoa, whoa. Freeze veil. Just being picky. You can pull that further out yet. Yep, Roger. There you go. And you're gonna want to do the top, so I'm gonna want to be like. Eh. Yeah, just rotate it round so it's me. Uh, like a little bit down is what we want. Yeah. I guess I could rotate, you mean like... Yeah. Something like that. Somewhere there will do for now. You can move it once we get in close, Mick. Roger. And Trevor, are you on there? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, suction. All right, coming up. Get your jars before you start up. suction on. Otherwise, you're in trouble. What do I got to do with... Oh, you mean look at them or do Yeah, them? I'm going to come up look at them for you. Pete will do that. There you go. What do you want me to do here, Trevor? Well, what uh, jars open for business next? Uh, I don't know. Right now you're in jar one. That's a uh, data jar question. One, yeah, jar one was done before, but any yeah. other jar is good. Yeah, it we looks already like used not jar one. Flush jar one. So your first step would be flush. What do you want to do? Sample it? jar reverse. You can line up the red jar with the inlet. Sample jar reverse. I'm going to click that button, Trevor. Try, try that on for size. Keep going. If it doesn't go anymore, you might have to wiggle it back and forth with forward reverse. Jar 1 has uh, samples in it, Trevor, right? Understood. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know that, but I think that. No, I'm, I'm telling you that. Okay, great. So we're going to line up with flush, which is probably there. I oh, know, back one. Yeah, and now you can run that for 30 seconds or a minute. Run it on suction? On suction, yeah. What percentage? We were doing 50 yesterday, so I don't know. Try okay, that. Okay, that's 50% suction. I lose some flow. I know, you seem fine. Um, for 30 seconds, Roger, to a minute. It's running. Yeah, it cleans out the old sample out of the hose. Cross-contamination and such. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't know if this was mentioned, but congratulations to Killian for defending his PhD oh, yeah. on this topic. He was around for the original creation of straw A and then also straw B. I met him in Poland last month. Lots of fun. Just defended yesterday. Congratulations. And he passed. That's awesome. So I hear. Hmm. Yeah, Fabio just mentioned him yesterday. Oh, right on, yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's enough flushing, huh? Okay. So I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. And now what, Trevor? Run to jar two. Yeah. 
so is that forward? Forward. There's one. That's one. I thought we just cleared one and that was okay. One more bit. Alright. There's two. That's it. Okay. Now. Oh. You were using the flush jar, jar zero, right, right. to flush the hose. Gotcha. Okay. That's good. Coming back down with this. You got suction running? Not yet, but I, I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, you ready? Yeah, I'll we'll close in, mate, and then. Roger. I'll give you a shot. All right. Give you lots of scope. Roger, coming up on suction. Yep. How do you like that holster, Josh? Um, I love it, but the guy who made it. I don't Zoom know. in a little bit, Pete. Yep. I don't know about him. No windows. <laughs> and uh, let me know when you'd like me to come live. Yeah, I'm just trying to get back across. Oh, yeah. so no, no. We're getting spun oh, okay. out of it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Pete, a little bit of zoom, mate. That's good. We get a bit more as we come closer. Copy that. Roger. All right, Pete, zoom it in. A wee bit more. Right, you can move now, mate. Roger. That's right against the glass. Up, up, up. I'm talking to me, not you. Just yeah. to clarify. Okay, backing off a second. Okay. I don't Seriously. like the angle we're sitting at. Sure. Bye, Megan. We'll see if we can get a bit. Oh, come on. Pull back really? for a second. Cheers. It's got no ass going this way at all. Yeah, they like to, and then the head comes around when you do that too. It likes to turn mm. a little. But what's, uh, he's got it down to. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Dave. <laughs> uh, Trevor, is there any harm in turning up the shock suction a little bit? No. Uh, are We're you fine? You're not getting the bottom this time. I don't know. I was right against it, and I wasn't seeing a ton. Sure. I, just, sure. I think the other guys had it up at 100. Oh, the other guys did. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll listen. Oh. Gonna, you think, go you think we also time. need 100 percent, just like time. they do? I'm gonna line up for that. <laughs> I can get way more out if we're going for the bottom. I don't need to compare you guys, but. But you're gonna do that. But you just they, they were able to get a lot of goop off the top. You wanna go back to the top, AJ? Uh what let's go to do? the bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Hmm. Goop off the top. Top goop. Bottom goop. Did you get more yesterday on the strawby modules? That's a hundred percent. Some suction. of them had more. A lot more coverage. Right. There's not an awful lot of coverage on that one. Yeah, and I guess it depends on how loose right, it is, too. I need a too. bit of zoom, Pete, please. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. You're quite stretched out, yes? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can go a little more. No, uh, no. It's just to give you room to... Yeah. 
to move. Okay. All yours. Roger. There you go. Wait. Come wide, please. Oh, wait. Thank you. Uh, I got some. Yeah, we did. AJ? Yeah, can we try the top just once more? Yep. Roger. You ready? I am. All yours. Put zoom, Pete. Top. I'm hitting something or something's going on. I can't reach out. There we go. Okay, hang Dink. on then. Let me All come right. around. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just not very loose. The stuff on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Try there. Roger. Here we go. Yeah, that's a good try. I don't think we're going to get any more than that. You're right up against it. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Back in the way. Roger. Pull wide. Thanks, Pete. Do we leave it sucking for a little while, or is that good, term? No, you can stop there. The, yeah, are we going to flush it for the next sample? Yeah, we you will, definitely yeah. flush for the we next will sample. flush, but we don't need to keep sucking there. Okay, yeah, suction's off, and uh, I'll use bubble to put this back. Okay. Video's going to do a quick uh, change. Have a good okay, night, guys. Thank you. Take care. I know, that was... Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Come on. Hopefully you can just let it go, mate, no? Yeah, I guess I can. I don't know. What am I doing wrong here? Hang on, coming down to you. Videos back on comms. Okay. You're right, Trevor. I am very impressed with myself with that holder. <laughs> Hydraulic's going off. Yeah, cool. Let me come down a minute. I'll, I'll keep that in view as I come up on the camera. I unmuted just to say that. <laughs> I, I noticed. Roger, so we gotta. Okay, coming up. Uh, yeah, that's my job. No, no, no. Because you're gonna rotate it and then flush it out, yeah? You wanna do that first, Roger? Yeah, I can do that. Yes. So I gotta rotate it back to the flush. Back thing. to the red one, yeah. Okay. How Video! We... There we there go, is. thank you. Okay, reversing. And reversing. Okay, that's the one. I right. Trevor? believe so. Red red jar that's lined up. Yes. Where we need to be. Correct. That's right. Okay, sucking. 50%. 30 seconds. Bye, Pete. Goodbye. Oh, hello. That's lovely. That would make a good hat. The shape, not the actual animal. Took. Blanket. So versatile. All right, dude, I reckon that's good. Roger, no. zero suction and going to jar whatever. Let's go for three. three. That's what I said. Three comes after two. Thank <laughs> you. 
One more. But we're off to SDOM 1. There we go. Good. Cool. Three comes after two. Rennie would like that one. <laughs> Rennie the Arbiter of Truth. <laughs> arbiter of Truth. Rennie the Birthday Boy. You're right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a cake. Rennie. Cake. Cake day. Hey, cake. <laughs> Is it going to be vegan cake? All right. Can we get a I'll little have to try to get up for dinner just tonight. Just touch. <laughs> Last time there was cake, yep. I yes, made please. sure I woke Roger. up just for cake. Just a touch. Nice, Jacob. That's yep. it. Whoop. Okay, coming up. Yeah. Roger. Critical. I hope we're still in the water so that when he walks in the van, we can really embarrass him. Um, on the whiteboard, it says we will be in the van still, I think, like 8.30 recovery of... Yeah. Roger. Yeah, that's our How do you plan to embarrass recovery. him? I think every as soon as he walks in, we should all cheer, like like loud, whistling, everything. I don't Why? know. Anybody got a better idea? Why is that I embarrassing? Mean, we, we could just say He'll get red in the face. It'll be great. We should just start singing happy birthday. Oh. On comms. Right away, before he's even on comms. I sang happy birthday to my baby sister on the phone last night. Aww. So I'm oh, ready. That's so nice. I already got you warmed practiced. up. How old's your baby sister? I think she's like 12. Cool. Wait, 10, 11, something like that. Fifth grade, fourth grade? That's a fun age for birthdays. What'd she do for her birthday? She went swimming. Yes. She got to play a lot of video games. Nice. And one more thing that I can't remember right now. I'm glad my dad called me though. He's like, you need to sing happy birthday for your little sister. I'm like, perfect, got it. Done. I'm on it. Here we hey, go. Look at this thing. Estom one. You guys know the drill. Uh-oh. Okay, Jacob, zoom in, please. Stop I'm good. there. I'm good with the stills. All right. Okay, bud. You come wet? Oh, uh, no. Zoom in. A little more zoom, Sorry. please. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Can you even read the G2 on the... Is that a G? I think it's a G. Yeah, if we could see the bottom half. Oh, that's going to be... That's clean. Not much to suck. Yeah, nice. A little lower, Dave? Yeah. A wee bit more zoom there, Jacob. Go on in. Cheers. Stop there, mate. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. We can back okay. away, get the suction sampler out. Full wide, please. Full wide. Bow. Right, so that's all set up. Coming down for you. Roger, roger. So we're going to be uh, yeah, losing your flow again. Yep. I still got it in bubble as well. You ready to come up on the arm, Dave? Yeah, go for it, mate. Here we go. It'll be what it'll be. Yeah.
guess that's just how that's going to be. Start sucking anytime you like. <laughs> uh, Calm down, son. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, see, more flow I'm going to steal from Which you. are you doing? Three. Roger. Okay, we're good for now. A little bit of zoom, please, Jacob. A little bit. Just hold that. Okay, mate, you can move anytime you like. Roger. I'm gonna put a bit more zoom, please. Cool. Oh, got that spot. Oh, yeah. Can't come much further round. Oh, we got like half of this thing. How much do we need, AJ? As much as we can get, I guess, is what we're going for. Yeah, like whatever is whatever is doable with reasonable effort. I think that's, that's pretty, again. pretty good if you're not comfortable coming around the mooring. I can come around a little more, but... That's our lot there. Yeah. Great. Good. There's nothing on the bottom of this, so I don't see any nope. reason to go that way. Well so done. You get back on your happy heading. Okay, full wide, please. Full wide. Well, it's bound up. One, two. Praising myself, and now it's all. I'll do, I'm going to have to drop this and stick that through, but you're good, Dave. I'll just work on this. I'll turn the suction off. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'll give it one more try before I give up. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to drop this. Just going to dangle. You want me to rack out a bit, give you a bit more? She right, wants a go. number. Nice one, mate. Well done. Freeze. Freeze. Jeez. That was a freeze fail. I'll do. Yep. Hydraulics off. Cool. That's it for sampling, AJ, is that right? That's it for sampling. So when you're ready, we'll come up. There's one more module above us, and then we'll go inspect the buoy. Yep. Then we'll come down, we'll unplug, and then we'll look at the Coming time. Up. Roger. different vacuum attachments for the front of that thing. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, 
Huh. You're right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just felt like I was touching it. I think we were. It's just that brow is just so proud. Whoa, easy there, Josh. Calm down. Trevor's actually working over there. Really? Yeah. Well, he's clicking a lot and typing. I don't know if what. I don't know if he's actually working. Playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm designing a bracket. Bracket. Bracket design. I do like a bit of Warcraft, actually. Oh, I got no problem with it. Did you ever play like uh, any of the Command and Conquer games back in the PC days? Oh, Red, Red Alert. Alert. Yeah. Oh, Red Alert is so good. So good, AJ. I've tried to find that online just to, like, even an older version just so you can play yeah. it. Yeah. I cannot find it. Didn't, well, like, three, Red Alert 3 came out, I want to say, not too long ago. Oh, I'm sure. They might be still making them, but I... No, I mean, I think it was a long time ago, but it, it like, oh, it clearly yeah, had better graphics. Like, it had, well, like, 3D yeah. graphics. It came out in... Ba, 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 2008. But I'd be happy to play like the original if yeah. I could just play it for free online. Yeah, I'm sure you can. No, I Red can't Alert find it. Red Alert 1 is, is very old, 96. There's Red Alert 2, I think, was the really good one. Oh, yeah. There's, and there was like 18 expansion packs. Yeah. My inner nerd is showing. <laughs> Man, that was a good game. What was it called? Red Alert. The, the series of games was called Command, Command and Conquer. And Conquer. It was like a strategy war game. Yeah, RTS. They had like strategy. a future one that was called something. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. What was like? I remember the Which original was, Command and Conquer. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even Red Alert. It was just called Command and Conquer. But that was that's was like the, the ninety six one. Snake Clan versus the something. Yeah. That was back when I had to. Tell my mom to get off the phone so I could use the internet. Yeah, that's right. I'm off SPL. I found it. Have you tried? You're playing? still on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. Psych. What were the? I'm trying to find the names of the clans. Oh yeah, the oh yeah, the Brotherhood of Nod. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Nod. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh there wow, we go. There, there's there, a thing. There's a flashback. What's that thing, AJ? That's at a Pocam. Pocam one. All right, stop by for a bit of zoomage. Yeah, if I could get the stills first. Yeah, no worries. Brotherhood of Nod. Hey Trevor, I just saw a big three spray painted on the winch wheel. Is that the third wrap? That doesn't seem okay, right. All right, start thanks, zooming in. No worries, man. That seems very wrong. Oh, you don't know? Okay. Let's go, Jacob. A little bit of zoom. Thank you, sir. Hold that. And go again. What is in there? Like a magic orb? Yeah, so these are the flashers. So these emit light. And I think there's, it's, the, the flasher itself is in this white golf ball looking thing to probably to diffuse it. Uh, I don't know. I got the exact same delta as we've had. Nothing's moved. Yeah. You want some out or? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, give us two meters. Let's yeah. see what happens. You know, Avalanche wide. cam. Full wide. The Thank tether you. looks. Yeah, there's a couple meters. Cheers. Just really zoomed in, maybe. Damn it. 
It's usually a lot more stable. Yeah. It's a pretty oh. flower beside it. Our okay, zoom in, please. Roger that. Our scientist on this project, Christian, has uh, notified us that there's a remastered collection of the Command and Conquer series. Thank you. No. Yeah. I don't think I should play that. I'm kind of busy at work, and I would never, Ooh. ever do anything else if I... Yeah, something's... It's just in the brow of it, I think. Yeah, bro's huge. Yeah. Okay, try from here, steady. All right, zoom in. He sent me the link, and it's all in German. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. Thanks. You can, a lot. You can take off the the DE from that web address. <laughs> okay. Go what? Well, Rika can read it to you. No, I was able to Coming figure up. out. I was able to hack Roger. the network. Turn it back to English. I'm not messing with that anymore. Thank What's you next guys. On that looks great. We're going to go inspect the buoy and the hardware. Buoy. It's a little ways up. We have. Oh, I can't read this in the dark. We have about. Uh, you have a light two, that you can down. turn on. Five meters to our spacer. There it is. And then another 30 meters okay. to the buoy. Just a touch of zoom in, please. Yeah. Be good to look at the hardware there. Right there. What, this hardware? Yeah, why not? Huh, okay. Looks, I mean, it looks good from, from here. I don't think we need to get any closer. Go ahead, zoom in. A little bit rusty, but... Yeah. It's great. Looks like it'll hold. It's clear, it's clear. Plenty of meat. All right, thank you. Okay, zoom out. Coming up. And just, there you go, perfect, thank you, sir. Looking pretty close on sonar, Dave. Yeah. I don't know how far that buoy is up. And I need to do my job. How's that? We. 10 bucks on Steam right now, Josh. Sorry? $10 on Steam, Canadian. I'm so lost, AJ. For the new Command & Conquer. Remastered. $10? Yeah, Steam sale right can't now. Can't afford it. I know for a fact that's not true. I actually can't afford the time, because those games just... Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. Next the thing time you know, is the real 17 cost. hours have gone by. You haven't slept in three days. That math does not up, but you know what I mean. I was trying to, trying to figure that one out, yeah. Josh Go back to your design. Chart. Josh takes short days. Yeah, really. Sh my days are only six hours long. Josh days. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs>